Russian media quoted Korachenko, editor-in-chief of the Russian Defense Magazine, as saying that Russia has always been cautious about the issue of strategic stability in nuclear forces. According to the provisions of the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, the number of nuclear warheads deployed by Russia and the United States shall not exceed 1,550. However, the total number of nuclear warheads deployed by the three NATO countries, the United States, the United Kingdom and France, has now reached about 2,100. The three NATO nuclear weapon states implement unified operational planning and application of nuclear power. Correspondingly, the strength of the strategic nuclear weapons of the United States, the United Kingdom, and France should be viewed as a whole that confronts Russia's nuclear power. In view of this, Russia decided to suspend the implementation of the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. Korachenko said that if Western countries accept Russia's position, they should initiate dialogue or negotiations with Russia. If Western countries do not respond, Russia has the full right to increase its nuclear triad to the level of the overall strength of NATO's nuclear-armed member states. The new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty aims to limit the number of nuclear weapons between Russia and the United States. It was signed in 2010. In 2021, Russia and the United States agreed to extend the validity period of the treaty to February 5, 2026. Russian President Vladimir Putin stated on the 21st of this month that the United States requires Russia to fulfill all the provisions of the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. While the United States itself does whatever it wants, the United States wants Russia to fall into a strategic failure and also wants to inspect Russian military facilities. For this reason, Russia had to suspend the implementation of this treaty.